Most of us with kids, you know how hard it is to get them up sometimes, ready for school, get them there on time. So imagine if you got fined £60 every time they were late. Now, would that be a deterrent or do you think it's just another way of punishing parents? Do you, you know, is it our fault if the kids are late or their fault? Um, depends how old they are. Yes. Actually. But I have to say that I... I can't bear lateness of any kind, you know, I, I just can't bear it. So when I'm at home doing the school run, Kira's never late. In fact, she's normally a bit too early. When I'm away, she sends me videos in the morning. And the other morning she sent me one and she's fully ready for school, all the uniform on, her bags on her, you know, her back. And behind her, she's at our bedroom door and her dad's in bed. Oh, no. <laughs> and she's just got that face. <laughs> I'm, I'm the same as you. I can't stand people being late, and I can't stand being late myself. But the good thing is, if this if this did apply for Ray, because he really doesn't like spending money, to be fair. <laughs> so she would be at school at seven. So it would be work. Thought, yeah, so, I mean, this fine. is uh, they're, they're saying this is uh, for pupils who are repeatedly yeah, late. Really late yeah. It looks like it will be slightly different in different areas. So sometimes you'd be ten times in a half term, which I thought that was a lot. Yeah, so well, ten yeah. times in but one the, half yeah. term. The good thing is that it's left up to the discretion of each headmaster mm. so they can apply common sense so in yeah. that case Ray would yeah. get a fine mm. because he's the parent and he's just still in yeah. bed but if it's a case where maybe there's a lot of child carers in this country and maybe they don't have anybody to bring them to school and mm. then they get held up at home and da 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 so the headmaster can use his own his own discretion, discretion yeah. um, but other than that I think as a parent if your child is repeatedly late yeah. and that 12 times in six weeks that's, that's quite a lot you know a lot um, then I think that parents should be made to pay up but I also What's think about parents should be informed if it's high school kids yeah, yeah should be informed because yeah, they probably yeah. send them out on time well, I was yeah. say, just, what yeah. I, I take your point depends what age yeah. they're younger you're taking them unless it's your fault unless mm. it's special circumstances but what if you say yeah bye they all go off on time and you don't know they're you hanging around yeah. chatting yeah. to yeah. But the mates. school would ring you mm. on the first two or three occasions and say this has happened and then you as a parent is up to you to say to them and if it's very hard to bring teenage kids into into play but what i would do personally is i'd say right you know that new phone that you want for christmas every time i get fined 60 quid it's coming off the money for that phone yeah. that's the only yeah. way to deal with it and that will sharpen their mind and get them and there. also they've got to be taught to be on time they're going Absolutely. to go into the workplace yeah. and you know your boss wouldn't time put up with you important. being 12 times late yeah. they'd sack you. i mean there are concerns some people are saying well you know this could impact on the children because it was a low-income family and they were fined and well it then won't I go, impact well, just be on time yeah just, just get up time. earlier yeah. yes <laughs> we're a harsh lot today on here aren't we? <laughs>